Hey guys, all right, so we are now ending the 2020-2021 ice fishing season here in Michigan. Uh, it's going to be 60 this week. The ice is getting really thin, so time to put everything away. Um, if you're anything like me, you are constantly working to improve your sled. And um, I think that I've kind of, that comes down to every year I've gained a little more experience or I've gained new equipment or I've kind of switched up how I fish. So uh, this year I, I took on, a, I did a little more pike fishing, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I've kind of going back and forth out has changed up a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to make a couple more modifications to the sled. And I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. So uh, let's get dusty. All right, so the first and main mod that I want to do is to how I have my clam plate and auger attachment come in. So as you can see right here, the way that I have it going through right now is you actually slide it in through the back. And then you got to kind of get it up over the bait bucket and onto this arm. Um, it's kind of a pain to do. And uh, this year what we've done a lot is going out. We wanted to set up, wanted to drill a hole, see our depth, and uh, see if there's any fish. So... I got the shanty on top, and then I would have to try to snake this out, and it's kind of a pain. So I'm actually going to notch out this spot right here, get, throw some elbows in, drop it down, come out, so I can actually just set it in and out. So that's going to be the first mod we're going to do. Alright, so I've got it all cut out. Actually, I actually take a little more off here. Um, now, I've got three little, I'm going to call them nipples, to put on my, my elbows. So I'm literally just going to push these together. Now, I don't glue any of my PVC, because um, like I said, it's a constant work in progress. I'm constantly messing with it. So if I were to glue it, that's kind of game over on that part. So, all right. So that's together. Good enough. So let's see if the auger works. Way better. So I think that's gonna be really a lot better to do. Um, cause like I said, now I can just grab it on and off. That's going to make a tremendous amount of better, betterness, betterness, better than I. Um, what I do with all, like I said, I don't glue it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just put screws in all this. That way I can pull it apart later. Um, the good thing I like about PVC is how durable it is. I was kind of thinking I might need to reinforce down here, but that's pretty strong. Um, I do lift the sled in and out from the uh, PVC. So I will put screws in there so it doesn't fall apart. So... That's the number one mod. The second mod that I'm going to have to do is uh, I've got a new tunnel cover. And this doesn't slide in perfectly back here. So i got to cut these off. But you don't have to put that. So uh, that's that. All right. So the last mod that I wanted to do is, um, you know, you know when you're out on a regular boat and you catch fish, there's usually kind of like a tape measure attached to the side of the boat so you can see something. Well, the way I look at it is your sled is kind of like your boat. So why don't you have a tape measure attached to that? Now I know you can just take a tape measure out. Problem with that is it can freeze up with when you get water in it, it and it starts to rust. So what I did is I got a adhesive, 24 inch adhesive tape measure that I'm actually gonna put on this little, I have a little slat of PVC. Put that on there and I'm actually gonna screw this to the side here. So that way I have a quick reference point on 24 inches. Um, like I said, people do this on their boat. Why not do it on a sled? Uh, so let's do that. And there you have it. Now I have tape measure on the side so I can quickly reference how big the fish are. Alright, so that, that was all I really needed to do is kind of drop this in and then make it so it fits in my truck again. Um, and then the uh, tape measure. So I'm going to kind of give you guys another overview. I did it in the last video. Um, I'll do it a little better in this video um, to kind of show you everything that's on it. 
So here's the actual setup. So what I did was I had used all one and a quarter inch PVC. So it runs here. I got, I think these are one inch, uh, eye hooks, which actually I mount under here, right here. You see, I got screws, bolts, and I used the washers to hold it in, um, which is basically the same thing I did with the skis underneath, but, um, it's all of that. So now it drops down, comes around and the handle fits really nicely around it also. So and then I did the same up here, the hand up here, I got the arm for the auger that comes off, comes up. And now to do the fishing pole holders is I took some two inch, ripped the top out. So that fits in there nicely. And then I got, this looks like one and a half inch. And then I slotted under here so that the reels fit in there. And what that does is that just keeps it in so I can haul out two poles um, I have the up riser with the cutout notch here. This is the same notch that I did here. Uh, and this allows me to carry another pole standing straight up, obviously, when I'm on the way out. Um, like I said, I do have two of these. And I have this back riser. Now, if you didn't see my other video, what I do is I have a hub shanty. And I lay the shanty right on the top from this wrist, this riser to that riser. And then I use the eye bolts I have in each corner. And I throw a strap over that. So that's the setup that I have there. What I have now inside is I have storage area, which I keep extra propane, spot, um, you know, my spikes for my feet, stuff like that in there. I have my bait bucket, and then I have my uh, little buddy heater, and I have my bucket I sit on, and inside that bucket is I have my fish finder, which I did then add PVC cutouts to that, and I also zip tied on a pair of pliers, lean on those pliers there. So that fits in there, so it all fits really nice in the back of the truck. Uh, I have a quarter-inch acrylic plate that I cut all my shapes and stuff out. Um, and I still have room to just throw stuff in here. Um, so it works out really, really well. Um, I did these two-inch risers up off of here just because I do throw tip-ups and stuff in there so it doesn't come off. Um, if I'm bringing somebody else out, uh, I do have an extra seat that hangs off the back. Got the clam plate auger. Come around here, another eye hook there. Like you just saw, I laid that out. So uh, I did do, I do have some skis underneath. And that is the setup. Uh, so I do, I've used this for now for a couple of years. And there is some negatives to it that I wish I did some stuff different. I'll tell you what I did. So the skis on the underside, I just mounted them straight to the bottom of the sled which is great. It works fine. I wanted to keep this as low profile as possible to slide in and out of the back of my my truck with the tonneau cover on. Um, if you don't care about that or you have a topper, um, I would recommend getting some two by fours, laying them up this way. So they're three and a half inches up and then mounting that to the sled. So your sled will sit a little bit off the ground. It'll be a little easier for dragging out because I did drag through like a foot and a half of snow this year, and it was kind of a pain, but it doesn't weigh too much, so it doesn't really sink, but that's one thing. And the other thing is my bait bucket. Um, in my last video, I kind of went an overview on how I did it. Um, unless you're going out for like a long weekend or something, this bait bucket is really overkill. Um, I'd like to get a smaller one and then replate it all in and refit it, because this is just, it. when they fill it up at the bait shop, that's a lot of water, and obviously water is weight, so I'm trying to keep this as light as possible. But that's kind of the only other downside. But the one thing about having this as nice is it is big enough that when you have it in the shanty, it almost acts as like a little table for you. But uh, this is my setup that I have. I'm looking forward to using it next year. Um, comment below if you think I missed anything or you have any other questions on it. So uh, like I said, I don't glue any PVC. I just screw it all in that way. I can also uh, modify it later. So uh, thanks for watching.